Have you ever considered the importance of the last page your submitter sees? Now, showing a success page isn't just a formality, it's a chance to personalize your submitter's experience and leave a memorable mark. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use Paperform's success pages to do just that. Let's get started. G'day there, Alex here from Paperform. In this video, I want to introduce you to Paperform's success pages and redirects. We're gonna cover the default success page, dynamic success pages, and also discuss how to redirect your submitter on submission. You'll learn how to create success pages that leave a lasting impression by including media, redirects, and links. Also, display your submitter's responses to create a personalized message and also apply logic so a submitter sees relevant and dynamic content depending on their input. Here, I have a simple contact form. Let's see what we can achieve. In paper form, it's easy to customize the page shown to your submitter after the form is submitted. From your form editor, just navigate to after submission, success pages and redirects. Now, the first section you see is default success page, which is available on all pricing plans. You can change the title and also the description just down here. And you can optionally add a submit another button to return the submitter to the beginning of the form. This page will be styled to match your form's theme settings, which you can access at any time from the top right corner of your form editor. The title uses the heading one font and the description will be styled as a paragraph. The default success page is a standard submission page, nothing too fancy. Now, with that in mind, would you rather go with the boring thank you for contacting us message or create something a bit more personalized and effective? You chose the latter option, I hope so. Well, with dynamic success pages, which is a feature available on our higher tier plans, you have the ability to customize the success page much like the form itself, including photos, videos, and for some plan users, HTML. You can also conditionally trigger specific success pages depending on how the form was filled out and also pipe in your submitter's responses to personalize the success page. From success pages and redirects, scroll down until you see dynamic success pages and redirects and toggle on this feature. To create a new page and there is no limit to the number you can create, just select add page. But why would I need multiple success pages? Why not? Quizzes are a common use case, but most certainly not the only for when you may want to have multiple success pages, showing a specific success page depending on how your submitter completes the form or the quiz. Now, if you plan to add more than one page, it's a good idea to label each one to help you stay organized. You can do so under page name, but don't stress, this does not change the web page title of your form and is not visible to submitters. Now, we know that no two customers are the same. So why would you fit them into a boring one size fits all experience? Instead, use your success pages to leave a lasting impression and dynamically show a specific page based on how your users fill out the form. Toggle on page has conditions when it should be used. Then set a rule that determines when this page will be shown to the submitter. You can even apply multiple conditions. And once you're ready and set, this page will only be shown to the submitter if the conditions are met. If the conditions aren't met for any of your dynamic success pages, then the default success page will be shown. After a submitter completes your form, you want to do three things. Thank them for filling out the form. Provide further information. This could be an estimated response time and include a call to action. Now, this could just simply be a wait out email or you could entice them with a 50% off coupon. Select the box below submission screen design to begin editing the success page. Include your thank you message and highlight any text to bring up the formatting bar, which you can use to change your text styles. Then you will need to include further information like your business's contact details and a confirmation of their appointment. Then, uh, nice. To personalize the success page and include more information for your submitter, use answer piping to pull in your submitter's responses and data. Just select this icon from the left menu to display all submission data available and select an option to pipe it in. You could create a personalized page that includes a submitter's appointment details, create an engaging order confirmation page, or 
just a simple yet personal thank you page, including the submitter's name and any other details. You can add elements to the page by selecting an icon from the left menu, and this will include images, video, and for those on a selected pricing plan, HTML. Highlight any text or click an image on the page to bring up the formatting bar, which you can use to change text styles, resize, and edit your images, or create a hyperlink. Once you are happy, you can just select back to editor in the top right corner and your success page is now live. But what about redirecting your submitter to another link after submission? Well, you can toggle on enable redirect on submission and include a URL, even use answer piping to pipe in your submitter's responses. This will automatically redirect the submitter once they hit that submit button. But there will be instances in which you want to show your success page to the submitter before they are redirected. And this again can be done with a dynamic success page. So we'll add a page once again and enabling redirect to another URL. You can include the website URL. Again, you're able to pull in your submitter's responses and configure the redirect time here under redirect after this many seconds. Zero seconds being instantly after submission and of course, then you raise it up from there. Again, select back to editor and you are all ready to go. Want to learn more? Then check out our success pages and redirects guide linked in the description of this video. Make sure to like this video if it's been helpful and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more helpful videos and updates on everything paper form.